Yo, it's Shingen Bacon, Connor here, and I saw a lot of people were asking how to get Daisy Battle Royale installed for Arma 3. So, uh, I'm going to go do a quick tutorial today on how to get that download installed. So we're going to go to Daisy Battle Royale's Twitter, he has a nice download link right here to the uh, the files for 0.2.0. .0. Uh, as this becomes outdated, this version, uh, go ahead and leave me a comment and I'll update the link, I guess. But you want to go ahead and click download. I'll have this link right here. I'll have this link in the description. Hit download. And uh, hit download. There we go. Save. Alright, so once it's done downloading, we're going to go ahead and drag it onto our desktop or wherever you want to put it. And then we're going to go ahead and right-click with WinRAR, of course, or 7-Zip. Both might work. Uh, go ahead and extract it. And once it's done extracting, you'll have two files. The at PU Battle Royale and the README. So the README also contains... Um, you know, useful information like delete previous versions of the mod, where to extract it, and adding your launch parameters to uh, to play the game. We're not going to use launch parameters today. We're going to do it the simplest way possible, which is just uh, take your PU Battle Royale, go ahead and hit copy, and now you're going to want to navigate over to your Arma 3 folder. For me, Arma 3 folder is in my, uh, well, for most people, it'll be C program files, Steam library, Steam apps, common. And then you'll have an Arma 3 folder in here. I don't have it in there, so I'm going to navigate to mine real quick, uh, where I have my Steam library. And then in your Arma 3 folder, uh, you'll have all your at folders, uh, your battle eye, add-ons, and such like that. If you have a previous version of Battle Royale, you're going to want to delete it, and then copy in the new one. It's so right there, you can see we copied in the new PU Battle Royale. And in Steam, we're going to go ahead and open up uh, Arma 3. Go ahead and hit play. Alright, so once you get to the main menu of Arma 3, go down to Configure, Expansions. In here, you should see um, Player Unknown's Battle Royale. Go ahead and hit Enable. Okay. And then Restart Now. And once it restarts, uh, you'll be able to play on any of the Battle Royale servers. Alright, so now we've restarted the game with Battle Royale enabled. You know it's working if in the uh, the lower corner, you can't actually see it. It's kind of below where my mouse is right now. But um, it says Battle Royale, little logo here. But if you hit uh, multiplayer and you go to filter, type in Battle Royale as the host, hit OK. And it'll come up with a list of all the currently running Battle Royale servers. Uh, that are up at the moment. So, if you want to join a server, make sure you don't join a passworded one, because the passworded ones that say playing, all the ones that say playing are already in progress. Uh, for the most part, it means that they're like they're already in a game. You can't join, because uh, once you die in battle royale, you can't respawn. So you want to join one that looks like this. It says briefing. Unfortunately, this one's full already, so I can't join it. But the ones that say briefing, creating, setting up, uh, go ahead and join those, because those games haven't started yet. And I do hope you guys enjoy uh, Battle Royale. I hope you have some good times. And I hope you uh, learned how to install it. If you have any questions, if you uh, can't get it working, you can go ahead and leave me a comment. I'll try to help you out as best I can. And peace out.